Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we are going to be talking about what is, in my opinion, one of the most pointless premium ships in game, especially with how the game has gone in the past year. And that is the Tier 8 Premium German battleship Brandenburg. This ship came out about a year ago. It's been one that I get a lot of questions about on stream and in the comment section, so I figured I'd just do a whole video dedicated to talking about the Brandenburg in today's World of Warships. But before we get into the details, guys, if you don't mind, drop a like and leave a comment down below. We must appease our algorithm overlords. Appeasing them is 80% of doing YouTube nowadays, so if you guys wouldn't mind doing that, I appreciate that. So, moving on to the Brandenburg, the ship herself. Like I said, this ship was released about a year ago. You can find her in the army for, I believe, 12,800 doubloons. Now, the German nation is not one that is, let's say, lacking for premium ships. There's a ton there, and that's why we get plenty of questions about the Brandenburg saying hey you know is this a good ship is it one that I should pick up and you know a year ago I had a pretty unfavorable first impressions review of it but after playing some more in it you know she kind of came back around and in the right situation back then she could hold her own in a brawl and in many cases came out on top but nowadays oh no I would not recommend this ship at all why well let's get into it so, what is the Brandenburg? If you look at her, she is essentially, if you boil it down, a Tirpitz that has had her 15-inch guns removed, her 8 15-inch guns removed, and replaced with 12 305mm guns. These are guns that you can find on the Odin. So, she's basically um, a Pommerned Tirpitz, but instead of 15-inch guns like the Pommerned has, you have... Uh, what, what were they, 11, 12 inch guns, 305 millimeter guns of the Odin. So she still has torpedoes, she still has, it, as far as the armor goes, it is literally the Bismarck slash Tirpitz armor. It, it's that exact same armor scheme. You got that 60 millimeter wraparound icebreaker bow with that 32 millimeter um, bow armor above and below it. The upper armor is 145, belt armor is 350. Go around, you get that kind of wrap around 80 millimeter cheek plating there in the stern. And then, of course, once you take the armor, the exterior armor away, she does have, again, the turtle back armor that the Germans are known for. So, again, it's that. However, they made a couple of odd choices along the way, too, that, in my opinion, really hinders this ship, the ship's ability to perform. So, moving on from the armor, my one of my biggest issues with her is that for some reason they removed a good 11,000 HP from this ship. This ship only has 58,800 HP at tier 8. Both the Tirpitz and the Bismarck have 69,000 nice HP at this tier. That's a big deal. I do not know what their reasoning was, or why, but that doesn't make any sense in my mind. I don't see how you could justify it in any way, I should say. Like, the Odin, I could understand why they removed a good chunk of its HP. Maybe not the size they did, because I believe Odin had like 65,000 HP before she was released, and then they bonked it on down to 55,000 HP, because if you look at the Odin's armor, the Odin is like nigh impenetrable from AP if you stay angled correctly. So, I understand why, because that ship has some fantastic armor. But with the Bismarck and Tirpitz hull here, it's just standard German armor. Like, it's chunky. You get pinned even when you're bow in because you're, you're that chunky. You know, it finds some weird spot to bite on the hull, like with French AP or any halfway decent AP. It just finds somewhere to bite because the armor is, is chunky. But there's nothing being picked up here for that. Like, uh, I, I, I don't understand. So that means that you are very vulnerable to torpedo hits, of course. And of course, when you're a tier 8 battleship seeing tier 10 games, all the tier 10 ships now, they can absolutely beat the crap out of you 
and not really care because remember the ship came out the ship came out a year ago uh, we're getting more and more 20 inch guns at tier 10 now so those guns can see this ship that's got 50 was 58,000 HP so that's a big big upset there for me and of course too has the crappy 23 percent torpedo damage reduction as well now these 305 millimeter guns they have a 26.5 second reload time uh with the build that i do have on it however it doesn't really matter because you can't take the reload module on a tier 8 ship anyway um so 26.5 uh, second reload time that's not really bad for 12 guns at tier 8 so that's pretty good actually but these are 305 millimeter guns so they are they are small for their tier and they have a maximum dispersion of 18.5 kilometers of 245 meters now you can throw the dispersion model in here and kind of get this dispersion in a little bit but it's a german battleship it's geared for brawling so a secondary build is what this kind of warrants too especially with the amount of secondary guns that, that it has i'm getting more on that in a second so for its he it has 3600 maximum damage that's if you manage to set it on something with your he and then also with the he it has 95 millimeters of pin which is of course pretty good 13.5 percent fire chance this is with ifhe and then an initial velocity of 865 meters a second coming out of the tubes the ap does a maximum damage of 9400 and also comes out the tubes at 865 meters a second the secondaries you have 20 of these 105 millimeter secondary guns which you can get out 11.5 kilometers with a full build including the signal flag they can pin 32 millimeters of armor with IFHE, and they have initial velocity of 900 meters a second. And then the secondary, the other uh, secondary guns, you have the 150 millimeter secondary guns. You get 12 of those. Those don't need IFHE to pin 32, but with IFHE, they pin 47 millimeters of armor. They re reload in 6.4 seconds. They have a 4% chance of causing a fire on the target. 1,700 maximum damage. And you do get torpedoes as well. You get the standard uh, German torpedoes. You get one set per side. It's the Turpitz torpedoes. Again, you know, 6 kilometers, 13,700 maximum damage. Uh, 64 knots, 1.3 kilometer torpedo detection. And they reload in 90 seconds. AA is garbage, like on most ships. Most German ships, German ships, I, I should say. It's a little bit faster than... Let me just double check here with the Bismarck. Yeah, a little bit faster than the Bismarck and the Tirpitz at 34.1 knots. 820 meters turning the circle on a 15.7 second rudder shift time. And her concealment with the commander skill gets down to 12.7 kilometers and with the module as well. So she is pretty stealthy. I will give it that. Now for its consumables, you get fighter or spotter, you get a heal, which regens 352 HP per second for 30.8 seconds, reloads in 76 seconds, and you get 5 charges of that, and damage con. That's right, you also don't get hydro. <laughs> so, I, again, I don't understand what's up with the big bonk to the ship's survivability when you don't get hydro, so it's like the other German battleships where... You can, you know, easily avoid torpedoes by having your Hydro running. Um, and then you have the same armor scheme. You do have, you know, 12 to 5 millimeter guns. Now, these guns are... Man. They are something. If you can get all 12 of them on target, they're actually pretty decent. The issue is that, naturally, because it's a German ship, the turret angles are so bad from both bow and stern in that you have to show your broadside to get all 12 on target and that's the only real way you can have any effective fire with your main battery guns you have to show broadside now you're in a german battleship which means that you're going to get chunked with the returning fire and it's just not worth it because with that smaller HP pool than your other tier 8 counterparts, sure, you might get, you know, like, if you're firing HE, which most of the time you will be spamming HE in this ship, because that's just the way it is. 305mm guns, you know, tier 8 battleship and above. You know, if, if you're pushing in close and you get, like, a broadside battleship or something, yeah, sure, you, you'll, you'll have AP in the tubes. But in most cases, you're just going to be spamming HE. And since it is German HE, it's, you know, more anemic for its 
caliber. So you're doing like, you know, maybe on a good roll, like 11k or like, you know, 5k in a fire, and then you get chunked for like 7 or 8, 9k in return. In most situations in higher tier matches now, because again, the engagement ranges are so far out there that you're just kind of boned. So it's miserable to play it like that. Now, every now and then, you do run into a situation like you've seen in the should be in the first half of the match that started out this video. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get one match or two match in, in the background footage here. But the first match, yeah, like I was able to get in there, get in close, do some a little bit of brawling action. And yeah, it worked. And it worked decently well. However, honestly, uh, I'd rather have been in turfits with 15-inch guns. Rather than dealing with you know, the other slower HP pool and small guns that have to spam HE in, and I can only use AP very situationally. And yeah, <laughs> it's just, God, it's so infuriating to use. And two, in order to get the most out of your secondaries, you of course have to take IFHE, which means that your main battery guns have a 13.5% chance of causing a fire on the target instead of a 26% chance of causing a fire on the target. So, yeah, that sucks. Ah, oh, man. This ship, I don't know. They could have done a couple of things to spice it up. Like, if they had given it 128mm secondaries as compensation for losing 10,000 HP, I could understand that. You know, like, yeah, okay, it's got... 128 millimeter secondary, so you don't have to take IFHE, so you still have a 26% chance of causing a fire per shell on your guns with your 12 guns. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot more sense for it to lose 10,000 HP, but it doesn't. It is stealthier though, so with the commander skill, you know, you're getting engaged, well, you're getting spotted, you know, within, like, I think, 1.1 kilometer of your secondary range. So if you could spot whatever is spotting you, they're probably in your secondary range. Like, okay, that's pretty cool as well. But then, again, you just go back to the fact that this ship is best in a brawling situation, and it's not that great at long-range HE spamming because of the poor HE fire chance if you have IFHE to get the secondaries out there. Now, maybe if you build into, like, the main battery guns and go for a full, for, for a full fire starter build, it'll probably be okay, but then it still only has 18.5 kilometers of range, and you can only really extend that with the, with, uh, with the spotter plane, and that's only for a short duration, so we're back to square one where it's terrible at what it does. So, this ship started out rough for me, and as the game has aged and the higher tier meta has devolved into the the campy meta that we have at higher tier now, this ship just really isn't worth it. I really wouldn't really recommend you spend your money on it. If you do want a tier 8 premium German battleship, the Turpitz is better than this in every way, shape, and form in my opinion, and it has you know, the proper HP that a tier 8 battleship should with the same armor scheme that this ship has. So, in my opinion, if you're looking at the Brandenburg and you want a brawling German battleship at tier 8, get the Turpits. If you already have the Turpits, then this is just some weird side... I wouldn't say this side grade, because a side grade normally means, like, kind of... Well, not really an upgrade, but I guess, yeah, if you want a little bit different of a Turpits, okay, but... It's not really worth it in my opinion, guys, and I'd pass on it. Save you the blooms of your dollar for something that's much better. So guys, that's my two cents on the Brandenburg after about a year of it being out. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We're way to 45,000 subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday, have a wonderful weekend. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.